Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had done a little bit of schmoozing, for lack of a better phrase, with Ogren uh, towards an old flame of his at the uh, inn slash bar there. And now we're going to head to the tower like we intended to. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Oh, Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Uh-huh. Why I need to get to the tower? No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. I am a Grey Warden. Let me in. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Prove it? Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Grey Wardening isn't something you do, it's what you are. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Aha. Uh -huh. Your superior won't like that you're giving me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually... He would. Good point. Well, we should try our best to avoid that, shouldn't we? He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. What do you mean, well, alleged? You want that I should take you there now? Yeah, please do. Come along, I suppose. Thank you. Jesus. It'd be like pulling teeth. Alrighty. And something's going on. I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Mm -hmm. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Good question. Now we wait and pray. What's going on here? We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But the mi I pfft, 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 I was going to combine the top and the bottom sentence. <laughs> that was where my brain was going, I guess. But I seek the mage's help to defeat the dark spawn. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the dark spawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars mm. can spare no men. And the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. How did this happen? We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. Then what can I do to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, That's this, this is probably true. The mages are not defenseless. Some must still live. If any are still alive, the maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. Well, I wasn't really expecting anything after you told me this, so I'll still hope for something. <sighs> when did you send word to Denerim? A while ago, and it worries me. The Civil War has no doubt caused much turmoil. Has the Chantry been caught up in it? Probably. I can only guess. Denerim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. Well... I mean... 
There's still so much going on that's unexplained. I too would like to know how this started. Well... If I help you do this, will you join my army? You must face and slaughter the abominations to get to the bottom of this. Are you sure you can handle them? I mean... I have confidence in my abilities. If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Good. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Far more worthy than anything else, I would say. Yeah. Then, uh, we have an agreement, then. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one. Until I have proof that it is safe. Fair I will enough. only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. Gotcha. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Fair enough. So once I pass through those doors, there is no coming back. Until the whole thing is complete. My wounds! They burn! It's unbearable! Suffer in silence, then, but Jesus. Let's talk to you. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Do you need help? We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful, too. Well, I do. Let's go. See what you got. Not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm not getting rid of any of these. Uh, oh, boy. Blood gorged amulet. I forgot I had that. And I don't know what to do with it. So. I guess I should have uh, actually bothered to go to uh, Soldier's Peak before I did this. In fact, I might back out of this just to go back and do that. I might do that. <laughs> that might be what I do. Okay. Oh, you have a backpack. Oh, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. Oh, I needed it. Oh, I needed it so badly. <laughs> so badly. Okay. Good. All right. Let's buy some Alfred 2. Why not? Do you have anything better? No, you don't have any things I need. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. World map for now. And head over to Soldier's Peak to deal with my inventory. And actually, you know what? They had a backpack. Could I possibly... Could I possibly buy backpacks from other people? I need to find out. What can I do for you, Warden? Uh, I need to see if you Sir sell a backpack. No. Damn. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Do you have distillation anything? Nope, you don't. Damn it. That was the only other thing I needed. Uh, nope. Okay. I have a lot of junk in my inventory right now that I haven't sold. I should probably do that. There we go. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, heavy chain mail boots and dragon bone. My goodness. Okay. All right. There's that. Um, party storage. Put away that because I won't need it. At least not right now. Put that away because I won't need it. At least not for right now. Uh, potent. Don't need something that strong. I think... Yeah, I'll put some of these away. Just because I don't think I'll need them in my inventory. Just yet. And it at least puts them somewhere where I can retrieve them later. Because, you know, it's probably a good idea. 
Okay, that puts me at 33. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, okay, all right. Uh... Oh, wait, that's right. I did pick up some star metal. And you are apparently a great smith. I wonder. Warden. In my travels, I found the strange metal in a crater. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. Well, how much will it cost me? Nothing. My family owes you much. Well, in that case. Now, the stats are not going to be that different. Uh, star metal is tier 8, which puts it above dragon bone. It's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Beyond that, the stats will be above Dragon Bone in both varieties. And you'll have three slots for enchantments. That's about it. There isn't much special about it. Um, at least I know for the longsword version, I could probably swap out Duncan's dagger, and it would work relatively similar, because it has uh, damage to... <sighs> I don't think it was damage for critical backstab or anything like that, but it does... <sighs> I don't remember the stats off the top of my head and it's annoying me but honestly i think the long sword is more worth it mainly because i don't have anyone who's going to be running a two-handed that will be regularly in the party so to make it viable for me doing the long sword is what will work so star metal long sword that sounds perfect and so it shall be beautiful Couple shots of him hammering it on it, and it's good. I call this blade Starfang. Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden. Thank you, Mikhail. I am now happy. <laughs> I am now happy, happy, happy. Starfang. And it has plus three damage and plus two and a half armor penetration. So it's already significantly better. Significantly better than what... Well, I mean, the dexterity is actually a little lower than what I get out of Duncan's Dagger. But I get extra damage plus armor penetration that puts it almost on par with Duncan's Dagger anyway. It puts me at like 670? 6.70? Instead of just eight. So, it's not like it's completely useless. It's good as an offhand. It's good as an offhand. When I get the ability to wear, or rather wield, two swords at the same time with dual wielding, which I will get eventually. I just lose out on the damage versus dragons. But that's fine. I can live with that. Anyway, so, now it's time to take it to camp. First put that away. Take it to camp and then get it enchanted. There we go. Which is absolutely worth it. So, we're going to do that. Sandal. Enchantment? Yes. Enchantment. Thank you. All right. Merrick's blade. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did put Chance of Paralysis on it for him. I forgot about that. Vanguard. Who who did I give Vanguard to? Agren. That's who I gave it to. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so... Put the uh, 
physical resistance there. Oh, wait. I had stronger of that? Well, then, I'll put that there. <laughs> Why not? Alright. Damage versus undead. Okay. Four damage versus dark spawn. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I thought, I thought, hmm, hmm, I guess I'll just have to not do all of that, just leave that there. And in the meantime, put that... Actually, no, I don't need to put it on anything, really. I'll just need to pull some stuff off of Duncan's dagger once I intend on switching over to Starfang. Which should be on the next level up, now I think about it. Most likely will be on the next level up. So, okay... With that in mind, let us head out once again, I think. Is that what we want to do? <laughs> or do I need to start looking for the backpacks? Which means I should talk to Bodan first. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good yes. to have you along on the road. I appreciate that, thank you. I'm sure. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. I don't care. Please tell me you have a backpack. Oh, damn it, you don't. Uh, journeyman silver, right? Oh, that's what I needed. That is what I needed. Cool. Um, I would like... I would like, but at the same time, that's a lot of money I'm not exactly willing to spend. Uh, <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, there's the distillation agent that I needed to buy. A lot more of. So, we'll call that good there. Alright. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Every time I walk into camp, I get another Mabari Crunch. I'm sure that's a bug. Okay. Hmm. Angled Strikers, that's... Meh. Proving Helm. Meh. I think... Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Don't need to worry really about anything else, I think. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're golden. So now let's go. Maybe not to... Yes. Exactly to battle. Indeed. Cool, there we go. Alright. And I should get everyone set up on their uh, talents. The waiting around top is... Awesome. And I should get her going on that. And get you going on all of that. And... Suppress it. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to not go back to Soldier's Peak, but I do want to see if... Oh, I can't go to the Dalish camp. 
Maybe I can through the outskirts. Or maybe just going to the forest. I'm not sure. But I'm sure that if I go there, I can get another backpack or something. Or get into more combat. Either or. We've been waiting for you, Warden. Oh! Of course. Rebels. Because of course. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't that happen? Huh? All right. Slowly but surely, take the out, and we're good. Well, I mean, most of most of us are good. Still got a couple left to take out. Yes, it is. Battle it is. Now, better than late. Got a little death root. There we go. And there we go. All the money <laughs> that they spent trying to ambush me. And it didn't even work out for them. Unfortunate. Oh well. The exit's over there. I'm pretty sure I looted everything that can be looted now. Yeah, I'm good. Time to leave and go forward. Please tell me they have a backpack sitting. In the Dalish camp, which is where I need to go. There we go. Please tell me. Please tell me their shopkeeper has hard it. to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Well, I would hope. I'd like to barter. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. Well, I like hearing that. Uh, Armsman's Tensioner. Oh, that would be for Leliana. That'd be a good one for Leliana, actually. Instead of mental resistance, just getting rapid aim and six attack. It's actually really good. It's extremely good. I probably should get that. <laughs> I probably really should get that for Liliana. Oh, I really should just get her the Dalish set. I really should just get her that. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. In the future. But not quite yet. Uh, Darthanu, Darmisu, and Darmisan. Don't need any of that. I do, however. Need to see what you got here. Skill and Sundry and the Mortal Vessel. Okay. How much am I sitting in elf fruit? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. So, time to buy at least a gold's worth. At least. Yeah, just about. That should do. Oh, and you do have a backpack. <laughs> oh. Oh, I feel so happy I did this. Okay. All right. All right. No sitting at a hundred for my max inventory. Okay. Why wasn't that backpack there before? I rem I don't remember there being a backpack there. I am annoyed because there should have been. I don't remember it being there. <sighs> uh, that's fine. And at least 
teleport from here. Back to the Circle Tower. Where my inventory has been completely dealt with. And I should be able to loot without worry. Probably. <sighs> okay. Alright. I think we should be good. I have a lot of health poultices, a decent amount of lyrium, and I have the materials to make more should I need it. On top of the fact, I'm pretty sure everyone's as kitted out as I could possibly get them. With that in mind, I think... Wait. Wait. First things first. I was at 36. He would need 38, at least. Ah, uh, okay. I was thinking about getting him outfitted in Kalen's outfit, in Kalen's armor. But at this point, for Silverite, he would need to be at 38. And that's just not viable for him right now, unfortunately. Yeah. It's just not viable. Well, well, as I recall, shutting the door and throwing away the key was definitely the Templar plan B. <laughs> well, true. That would be a plan B. Uh. Okay. All right, all right. Onward we go. The door has to bar behind us. <laughs> Shaking your head. Shut up. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I know what better than you do. You have do. any tales of the wild? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders? Who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no. I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. <clears throat> At least she asked. All right. Whoa. There's a lot of things going on here. Princess's foot locker, watch guard of the reaching, whatever that is. Owain knew reaching. No, 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 and stop asking. I'm not getting in trouble because of you again. I don't care what's in the basement, and neither do the senior magi. Everything is about Uldred and the upper floors. I don't know what you're digging up, but those tomes are way older than our lesson texts. An apprentice shouldn't touch them. Hmm. Quest. What quest? Watchguard of the Reaching. The chaos in the tower has allowed an apprentice to stumble across something ancient and hidden. Find all of his notes to reveal a possible secret in the tower. Then also there was a quest updated for Orsamar. Mother's Hope. Oh, I never... Wait, what? Didn't I... Okay, I, I could have sworn I did these. Didn't I? I could swear I did. Weird, okay. I guess I'll find that out later. Charm of Still Waters. Extra willpower. Okay. Uh, who would need that? Wildstone Clasp. She already has something that basically does more than just that. So I guess no one needs that. Is the answer to that question. Okay. I'm just curious to run around this area. 
see what we can get before we move on. Well, piles of filth gave me an elf root, and that gave me a uh, health poultice. So, all in all, not bad. This whole area has been screwed up. Watch guard of the reaching. Huh. I'm telling you guys, it's a test like the summoning. Why else would lessons be cancelled? And that outburst in the library with Aldred? An older tome fell to a page on the reaching. I copied what I could before they pushed us out. A sword lowered to strike through the ground. You can't tell me I wasn't supposed to see that. It's too convenient. I'm looking for more, and you'd be smart to help. And I guess this is when... Threads burned before a giant spear raised. He stands alone, so whispers are known false. Okay, I guess that was another portion of the ritual. What? Ooh, an apprentice cowl. Isn't that what... Isn't that what she's already wearing? No, it's an enchanter's arming cap. That's what she's wearing. And... It's nowhere near as good as her current one. So, I guess, into the junk he goes. No reason to futz with what ain't gonna be useful. The spot. What the hell is the spot? Maker's wind, Darcy. I said I'd wait, but it's not just a disagreement. Aldred set abominations loose. One was in my mentor's robe. If you make it here, something in the spot may help you out. No point in hiding it from the senior mages now, and don't worry about Denry's usual fee for moving his bed. He's dead. Ooh. I see. Well, that tells me something is hiding under someone's bed. Is that what I had found earlier, or what? Is there maybe... Denry's bed. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of useful stuff. I don't know if I'll use all of it, but it's useful. Probably. <laughs> At some point. Okay. We've cleared through all of those, and now it's time into... Oh. Oh. Some of the close-ups. Well, not bad. It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Why? What are you doing here? I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. True. Uh, I came here seeking the aid of the mages. And you were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. Yeah, kind of. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Don't worry, the right of annulment has not arrived. <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. Hmm. They abandoned us to our fate. True. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. They invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. That's fair. And a good point. What happened here? Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. Yeah, I'd say. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. That is more fair. So what do you intend? I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but... I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. 
<laughs> I could just say, no, screw you, mages. That's not an option not in my mind. But, uh... I could go that route. We must try to avoid needless slaughter. Yes. Even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Fair enough. Gregor will only accept it if the first enchanter says so. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Fair enough. Will the children be safe here? Petra and Kinnan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Hmm. You should stay here. I can go on alone. No, I know the tower, and I know what we face. And if the circle is indeed lost, and all the mages dead, I would see this for myself. I can't argue with that. Okay, join me then, and we will venture into this tower. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Wow. Why do you treat the circle with such scorn? Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Everyone deserves respect. <laughs> Every well, I should rephrase that because that did not come out of my mouth the way I wanted it to. Everyone deserves respect, even cruel people like you. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. That could just be sassy. I mean, she's basically going to take the spot of Morgan, so, I mean, I guess I could be sassy if I wanted to. Try not to throw out your back. When that happens, I usually lay about a young upstart with my staff. That gets the blood flowing and works the kinks out of these old joints. Ooh. If you are ready, okay, sassy back. All right, fair enough. All right, so she's coming with me whether I want it or not, so that's fine. I guess we'll take yes. Alistair and Liliana Indeed. to round out. Morgan disapproves. Well, when? Oh, I can still change the party here. Well, <laughs> that's decent. They allow that at least. Huh. So let's take a look at what she's about. Cleansing aura, rock armor, uh, a lot of willpower, a lot of magic. Let's look at the tactics. Oh, she's a devoted healer. Oh my god. That's great. Life ward. What does life ward do again? I forget. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Everything. I'm going to have to everything I'm going to have to learn real quick. Alright. Automatically restores health when the ally falls close to death. Lift paralysis, mass rejuvenation. Caster channels a stream of rejuvenating energy to all members, significantly increasing mana and stamina regeneration for a short duration. Oh, that's good. Heroic defense. Hmm. Okay, she is basically set to be so useful. And a lot of stone, a lot of... 
uh, rock elemental energy and spells I'm noticing as well. I'm okay with that. So, okay. Um, let's go to tactics and let me double check some of these real quick. Uh, put ally at about 50% for that. And then put that at about 25% for that. Generation is for healing, I think. Rejuvenate was for... Yeah, was for specifically mana and stamina, so that's fine. Okay. Nearest enemy visible. Okay. Um, enemy. I don't, I don't. Let's go with nearest visible usability of. I don't. <laughs> I don't know all of these spells off the top of my head. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right. Um, Stone fist, maybe. I don't even. Yeah save that and I don't know it off the top of my head so I'm going to double check hurls a stone projectile that knocks down the target and inflicts nature damage possibly shattering those who have been petrified or frozen solid ow oh. so that would go hand in hand with this invulnerable to shattering from a critical hit oh that's actually a good idea. That's actually a good idea. Give me a second. I need to set that up. <laughs> I need to set that up. Give me a second. Um, yeah, arcane bolt's fine. It's whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do I... Maybe not focus on an ally because it's not as needed. But enemy. Um, nearest. And then usability of petrify. And then move it down a little bit so it's a bit above stone fist. And then enemy status. Uh, you're kidding. I can't. I can't choose Petrify? What? 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 Enemy. What? I. There just should. Oh, come on. Okay. Slowed. I guess. I. I don't remember. <laughs> so many things I need to remember off the top of my head with that and it doesn't okay petrified or frozen solid and okay immobile okay so immobilized is a good one okay that's the one I need alright so we'll go to that and change that to immobile Enemy status immobilized. Okay. And maybe we'll change this to enemy nearest visible class of mage, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And then it once they're immobilized, then they can then she can stone fist them and then it should be good from there. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright, that should be good. <laughs> should be good. I can't do that. And yes, you can. What are you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Okay, I think we're good. Up. I do need to <laughs> re up everyone's <laughs> abilities again. Yep. The waiting is off. 
Awesome. Well, if y'all decided to keep your abilities on instead of turning them off right when we enter a room, it wouldn't have been an issue. But no. Y'all had to make it difficult. Private documents. Okay, well, that's a thing. Let's talk to everyone in here. I don't suppose this is what you expected the circle to be like, is it? Not really. This is not a common occurrence, I take it. I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. No, no don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. Exactly. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Don't bring up Andraste to her. That's her kind of her favorite person. Wouldn't it have been better if Andraste hadn't died at all? Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. Okay, you're traumatized. That's fair. Um, the horror of this ordeal has unhinged you, I see. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Yeah, that sounds about right for someone who goes super pious for no reason. It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. Loghain is to blame. He betrayed King Kaelin. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. I don't think anyone did. The battle was a slaughter. When was at Ostagar? She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Okay. Sounds good to me. Look after her, will you? You sound a little worried. I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. Not after what? I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming, and a demon came round the corner. Its mm -hmm. eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynn was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynn wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. What happened then? As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Well... She just had the wind knocked out of her, probably. Just look after her, all right? Yeah. She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Fair enough. Don't worry. She'll be safe with me. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. You're welcome. Alrighty, I think that covers everyone being talked to, and now we can move on. Here we are. I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Did it tire you out? Well, <laughs> impressive for an old woman. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? I am ready. Destroy the barrier. All right. Be on your guard. Alrighty. Also, what's up with this? Metal door do that. that I can't go into because of unseen forces. Okay, whatever. Well, now we're into the danger. But we're also over time, so I gotta end this episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and finally, finally, upgrading our inventory space to about 100. So I can hold on to more stuff, which I'll need. Because I will be running through this entire t tower. And will be unable to leave in the process so i need all the inventory space i can get and we'll be figuring out what's gone wrong in this tower apparently some abominations are running around and we're going to take care of them and hopefully save as many mages as we possibly can 
for you.